another Jane 108 Discovery. I'm excited to release a graphical version of the 108 code. So this is called Phi Code 011 because we're going to start from zero this time and not one. And it's called the Infinitely Repeating 24 Pattern, which obviously sums to the Shri or Holy 108. And what I'm going to show is a spiral path of re-entry. Re so it begins at this point here. We're going to start the, the Fibonacci sequence at this point and and after 24 steps, it's going to come back to itself. That's why it's called a re-entry. It's, it's quite a cosmic um, dance of numbers. So instead of starting with one, one, two, three, I'm going to start with zero this time because this makes up these 24 numbers add up to exactly 108. Um, so we, we, we add up two, three, five, eight. When we get to 13, we add the digits. One and three is four. The next number... Um, um, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. When we get to 21, it adds up to a 3. It's called digital roots, and it's all about subtracting the number 9 to reveal this pattern. So um, you notice that when we get to the 12th number, I do the next 12 underneath, and now everything adds up to 9. All the 12 columns add up to 9999, and there's a 9 in between. And then all this information here repeats again. So the pattern goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 4, 3, 7, 1, 8, 9. Now over in this column here, I'm going to write all the pairs of 9, 1 and 8. So that to complete this 24 pattern, we've got 2 and 7. Just observe how all the pairs add up to 9. Because 9 is that which underpins all creation. It reveals all the symmetry. And then it goes like this forever. So 12 nines are 108, 9, 108, 9. So the real pattern is called 108 plus the 9. That's what repeats forever, a 108, 9 code. And so I've drawn up a graph here. Um, the grid is... Um, the grid is 8 by 14, and my starting point is here. So I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to take this wheel of 24. So um, we, we can see that we if we started where it goes 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, this outer sequence here, this, this outer sequence here shows the 24 code. But instead of starting from 1, we're starting with a 0. Okay, so that's why that's been circularized. But here we're going to show a distinct pattern that's never been shown before. Um, we did a series before with the 60 code where the 60 code repeated. This is the 24 code. So we're going to we're going to follow these numbers here. So there's zero. Oh, there's this red point here. Zero, one, I'm, and I'm going to go anti-clockwise this time. Last time when I did the 60 code, we went clockwise. This time I'm going anti-clockwise. So from zero, one, one down, two across, three up. Five across to the left, eight down, four across, three up. Now here I'm on seven, so I'm going to put this little marker at seven. So we just need to complete this table and we're done. So I'm going to get another color. Um, I'm going to use, let's say, my purple. And we've done, we're have done. we going to go seven to the left. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is there. So I'm going to draw that line. And what we're looking for is that when we get to the 12th number, we need to hit this red dot here. That's just to check we're on the right track. So seven, I'm going anti-clockwise. So everything's, this is one down. And then I go eight across because I'm going an anti-clockwise spiral. So we're halfway. This is the pattern halfway. So I'm correct. So now we just need to do these pairs of nine here, another 12 numbers. So I'll put, I'll put my marker there. I need to go nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll put a dot there. And, and we're going to go right up there. And we're going to go to the left. We go eight to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is across there. Then there's another eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that eight goes to there. Let's just check. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got to remember that. So these are the, the two eights. Goes across, goes down to there. Um, then there's a seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is there. We've, we've got that line. Now we're gonna go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six is that point there. I've already, you can see I've already marked some dots just so I get the right uh, lines. So notice I'm going through the center here. I started here. Will we return back to the center? So there's the six. Um, four across, one, two, three, four is there. Four, one down, brings it down to here. Main thing is I remember I don't lose that point. So it's one down, five across. One, two, three, four, five, puts it there. Six up, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that corner. So you can see why I created an eight by 14 rectangle because the whole solution fits into this graph. <coughs> so I'm, I've got... Um, so I went six up. So from here, I'm going six up. Two across. One, two. And then eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to end up here. So you can see we're almost finished. There's the two. And there's the eight. So the eight goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes right back to there. <coughs> and you can see on the last line, the last number is a one. And we're going to the right. And you can see that when we do the 24th number, we end up at the point where we started. And that's really special because that means this pattern that we've just drawn is a closed loop of energy. So it, it, if, if this was electricity, this is a circuit diagram that just keeps repeating and repeating, flowing through itself. Um, it could be like a key to future technology, but it's a very special thing. And I know that it has um, some amazing applications. And that's why we teach this at the 108 Academy. We would like the children of the future to apply these um, patterns based on nature.